America's 37th First Lady was born in Ely, Nevada on March 16, 1912. March 16, 2021, will be Pat Nixon's 109th birthday. Throughout her life, Pat Nixon believed in the importance of volunteerism. She believed in the power of individuals to help one another and change society, and she practiced what she preached. In 1942, she worked as a full-time volunteer in the Washington, D.C. headquarters of the American Red Cross. As First Lady, she said, People are my project. And she championed volunteerism by lending her time, attention, support, and presence to volunteer-based organizations large and small all across America. Each year, the Nixon Foundation organizes exactly that kind of birthday present Mrs. Nixon would want, a Pat Nixon Day of Service. Thousands of guests come to the library to learn firsthand about the organizations and charities Mrs. Nixon championed as First Lady. Our 2021 Pat Nixon Day of Service has to be virtual, so we invited representatives of some of those organizations to send special 109 birthday greetings. Here are the messages from the American Red Cross, the American Cancer Society, the Girl Scouts of America, the Salvation Army, the City of Yorba Linda, the Orange County Sheriff's USC's Town and Gown, and the Richard Nixon Library Docents Guild. I have the privilege of serving as the President and CEO of the American Red Cross. I'm terribly sorry we can't be together in person today, but I am delighted for this opportunity to celebrate the anniversary of First Lady Pat Nixon's birthday and to recognize not only her tremendous contribution to the United States of America, but also her incredible legacy as humanitarian. Pat Nixon was a person of great strength and compassion who touched countless lives for the better. She was also quoted as saying, people are my project. And the courage and kindness she displayed in her capacity as both first and second lady truly helped to redefine these roles. Here at the American Red Cross, our mission is to prevent and alleviate human suffering by harnessing the power of our volunteers and the generosity of the American people. We respond to more than 60,000 disasters every year, ranging from home fires that can displace a single family to a hurricane that impacts millions. Thanks to our selfless blood donors, we also provide around 40% of the nation's life-saving blood products for patients in need. We train millions of Americans each year in vital health and safety skills like CPR, first aid, and water safety. We deliver comfort and emergency support to the men and women of our armed forces, our veterans, and their families. And we also help with neighbors abroad with critical disaster preparedness and disease prevention training. When I reflect on our Red Cross mission, it's hard for me to think of anyone who embodies our humanitarian spirit and values more than Mrs. Nixon did. She was a champion of volunteerism here at home and a tireless representative of American goodwill abroad, traveling to more than 81 countries. And much like the founder of the American Red Cross, Clara Barton, Pat Nixon was also a true trailblazer. Her commitment to education, her efforts to make the White House more accessible to everyone, and her work to lift up others all had a profound impact on people around the world. So on behalf of the American Red Cross, thank you once again for this opportunity to celebrate the life and legacy of First Lady Pat Nixon. I know I speak for all of us when I say we are deeply grateful for the Nixon Foundation's ongoing partnership and support of our mission. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for your commitment to carrying on Mrs. Nixon's legacy of service over self.
Hi, I'm MJ Jenkins, and I'm a breast cancer survivor and volunteer for the American Cancer Society. First Lady Pat Nixon selected the American Cancer Society as an important volunteer cause during her time at the White House. She played a vital role as spokesperson and representative for the society. By attending special events, learning about our programs, she inspired researchers and patients for years to come. Mrs. Nixon's leadership made a difference and set a gold standard for women in leadership roles for nonprofits worldwide. For the American Cancer Society celebrates Mrs. Nixon for her leadership through the years, and we thank the Richard Nixon Presidential Library and Museum for their support. Hello, my name is Vicki Shep, and I am the proud CEO of Girl Scouts of Orange County, a nonprofit organization of 30,000 strong, nearly 18,000 girls and 12,000 adults from every zip code in Orange County who believe that every girl can change the world. The anniversary of First Lady Pat Nixon's birthday is deeply meaningful to Girl Scouts across the nation. What you may not know is that Girl Scouts was founded on March 12, 1912 and the first lady was born on March 16th of the same year. And the connections run deeper still. Both Julie and Tricia Nixon, daughters of the late first lady and president, were active Girl Scouts growing up, and Mrs. Nixon was their co-leader. She later served as the honorary national president of Girl Scouts of the USA, welcoming thousands of Girl Scouts to the White House and visiting troops across the nation. Mrs. Nixon's legacy of service aligns closely with Girl Scouts' mission to build girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. Every day, in big and small ways, Girl Scouts are stepping up, taking action, and preparing to be the visionary change makers our nation needs. On behalf of Girl Scouts, we join you today in celebrating the anniversary of First Lady Pat Nixon's birthday and thank her deeply for inspiring generations of Girl Scouts to tackle issues they are passionate about. And yes, make the world a better place. My name is Captain Nursing Kisson from the Salvation Army here in Orange County. I want to first start off by saying happy birthday to Pat Nixon. Pat Nixon was a champion of volunteers. And the Salvation Army is a volunteer army who lives and serves those who are most needy and on the margins of society. Pat Nixon was a champion of the Salvation Army and a great supporter of our great organization. We want to acknowledge her today and celebrate with you the legacy of a woman who left a mark upon Orange County. Late President Richard Nixon said this remarkable quote about his, his late wife. He said, when you think about Pat, think about the sunshine through her smile. And when Pat smiled, the sun of hope and tomorrow shine through her. Hi, I am Peggy Huang, Mayor of Yorba Linda, the proud home of the Richard Nixon Presidential Library and Museum. And I'd like to wish everyone a happy Pat Nixon Day of Service. As one of only 13 cities in the country to house a presidential library, we are truly honored by this unique privilege and value the special partnership we share with the Nixon Foundation. Yet for all the pride we have in Yorba Linda, our community is humbled that President Nixon and First Lady Pat Nixon chose your Belinda as their final resting place. We continue to honor their legacy and mission by continuing to provide exceptional service to every member of our community. As we celebrate Pat's extraordinary life of serving people, I believe the best way to honor her is to approach everything we do with a dedication to excellence, especially in matters that affect people. As public servants, my city council colleagues and I, along with the city staff, continually keep that goal in mind as we make decisions that profoundly impact our community. Your Belinda's motto is the land of gracious living, and we keep those words true by treating every person with respect, dignity, and grace. Our goal is simple, to redefine and elevate the quality of service a public agency can provide. 
This unprecedented year has been uniquely challenging as our city faced not only a pandemic, but a wildfire too. It is said that challenge reveals character, and I couldn't be more pleased by our relentless pursuit of service excellence. Whether it's our people working through the night to evacuate residents or creating economic relief programs to help small businesses, I am filled with confidence that your Belinda is one of the most remarkable communities in the world. It's no wonder at all why Richard and Pat chose your Belinda, and we will continue our exceptional work so that we will always be deserving of a special part of Pat's legacy. Thank you. The Pat Nixon Day of Service honors the legacy of our former First Lady and carries on her cause of volunteerism. As a Sheriff's Department, our primary mission is to keep our community safe. This is accomplished through enforcing the law, but also through being engaged with the public we serve. We work as a partner with organizations that help those in need and strive to make our county a better place. Through support of the Special Olympics, blood drives, school supply drives, drug education, and many other activities, our deputies volunteer throughout the year in service to others. Mrs. Nixon said, caring for others creates the spirit of a nation. Evident by the many good works done in our community, the spirit of Orange County is one of compassion. I encourage you to look for opportunities to serve and lend a helping hand to your neighbor. Keeping Orange County a great place to live is the responsibility of every resident. Hello, my name is Elle Feldman, Vice President of Fund Development for Town & Gown at the University of Southern California. We are a nonprofit philanthropic organization whose main purpose is to award merit-based scholarships to our stellar and worthy students. It is an honor to commend First Lady Pat Nixon, who had been supportive of Town & Gown. She is an honorary member and has a fully endowed scholarship with us and currently funds a scholarship for one of our students. In case you did not know, Mrs. Nixon attended USC in 1934 and graduated in 1937 with a degree in merchandising, which is equivalent to a master's degree today. She was the first first lady to hold a degree of this level at that time. She was also given an honorary doctorate from USC in 1961. Mrs. Nixon actively worked to advance the lives of many underprivileged individuals. She was considered first lady of all the people. Town and Gown is honored to celebrate this special birthday anniversary, and we are proud of her association with us. She would so fondly note that people are her project. She's supportive and was devoted to volunteerism, and we are also aligned with that vision. First Lady Pat Nixon shares our mission to empower our scholars and send them into the world with confidence and sense of service over self. Happy birthday, Mrs. Nixon, and thank you for touching the lives of many Americans. Hi, I'm Vic Dennis and I have the honor of serving as president of the Docent Guild here at the Richard Nixon Presidential Library. We play many important roles here. We share the stories behind the story, we lead tours of school groups and adults, and we support public events like lectures and book signing. But the most important thing we do here at the library is we bring to life the story of our 37th president. But an important part of that story is the life of the woman whose birthday we celebrate today Mrs. Pat Nixon. Her spirit of volunteerism lives on today and is embodied in our 165 all-volunteer Docent Guild. We would love for you to become a part of our Docent Guild family. And at the end of this video, we'll have information about how you can become a Docent here. But before that, let's take a look at some of our great Docents in action. 